Guys, the TikToker who refuses to shower is now more smelly than ever. They've been having issues with my thermal maxing journey. In fact, his grease has gone so far that even his mother has come on TikTok to challenge the pheromone maxer. I don't know what to do anymore. I mean, look at this. So buckle up, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you've got a couple of these around you, because shit's about to get serious. So we spoke about this TikToker recently, his name's Fluff Dumpster, and he believes that if he can go long enough without showering and build up enough smeg, more women will be attracted and crave his scent. Got a little bit of pasta in my pants, ladies. And if you don't know what pheromones are, it's more common in animals like dogs and wolves. It's basically a scent that you give off. And those scents is what they use to communicate with each other. And I'm not sure if this guy's going around sniffing people's asses, but who knows at this point. Oh, 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 oh Jerry, you smell so happy today. Go on, have a smell of me as well. Go on, have a smell of me. So yeah, I think you guys get the gist of it, but he doesn't just believe in pheromones and humans. He believes in pheromone maxin, which is basically just, yeah, just seeing how much filth you can build up over the weeks. And in my last video, we went through his TikToks where he was talking about his pheromone maxin, talking about how his mom forced him to shower. He claimed in his TikTok that his DMs were filled with women just creaming over him. He's posting a lot more TikToks and he's even blowing up. Like he's blowing up from not showering. How is this even a real thing in this world? If you don't shower, you get lots of views. Well, why don't I just do that then? But yeah, let's take a look at what the pheromone maxer has recently been posting and how he's getting along with his pheromone maxing journey because I'm sure we're all keen to see uh, how much grease has built up over the last couple of weeks. <laughs> I don't like the look of this one. I just got bucket bathed for Mother's Day. I... Um... My friend at school, Tammy, she, and I think some of the popular kids coaxed her into it. She was one of my real friends, and, and she invited me over. She bucket bathed me. So apparently in school, people bucket bathed him. Now no one's gonna be able to smell him coming from a mile away anymore. But just looking at his hair right here, I mean, you could probably fry a burger using that grease. But every time I look at him now, I can just imagine him with a health bar. <laughs> like, like he's a final boss in a video game. The unbeatable final boss. I can't, I can't beat him. The sweat is too strong. <laughs> well, that is one way. No. It's impossible. His, his pheromones, they're, they're too strong for us. How would we beat him? Soap. Lots, lots of soap. The shower. Lead him to the shower. Oh, geez. You, you think that could work? Yes. The shower. It's the beast's weakness. <laughs> and she bucket baths me. And my pheromones gone. Again, this is, this is like the first time that I've been having issues with my pheromone maxing journey. So you're looking at the first bucket bath victim of all time, his pheromones disappeared. How tragic is that? Now, how exactly is he going to be irresistible to women? He can't attract women now. The smell of smeg has disappeared. <laughs> how is it possible? How will he get the women gushing? We all know, ladies and gentlemen, there's nothing more sexy than a man who stinks as shit, right? <laughs> Please wash yourself if people are bucket bathing you. You probably smell horrible. <laughs> at least they're not lying. Pheromone maxing or whatever is not a real thing. Please seek soap. <laughs> Tell that to the pheromone orgy I had last night. They were just desperate for me to drag my greasy sack across their face. The smell of B.O. is not that attractive. We can't communicate with you through your sweat, okay? Hey ladies, ready for a makeout sesh? Not so quick. Hey, so are you ever gonna ask me on a date? <laughs> Whoa, what is that smell? Oh my god, what are you doing? What does that mean? What does that mean? Are you serious? You can't smell my pheromones? It means I wanna fuck! Someone commented, keep up the pheromone maxin. Don't let women hold you back. You got this, king, with a wolf emoji and a glass of wine. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh! Yeah. Oh, god, you reckon? Jacking all the women want me now. And then he posted this TikTok. I will not be silenced by a few trolls for my pheromones. Bro, it's impossible. You could never silence the pheromones. They, they, they speak a thousand words. It's like a new language now. The, the pheromone speech. The, 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 the tongue of the pheromone. <laughs> That's it. The tongue of the pheromones. The tongue of the stench. 
tongue of the stench will reign across the lands for a thousand years. Yeah, come on ladies, it's time for Netflix and fuck! And then the caption in the TikTok is fem cells. Be prepared. What the hell is a fem cell? I feel like I'm not with the uh, current trend going on, so let's find out what a fem cell is. So, okay, so it's women who can't find a romantic slash sexual relationship. And this guy is here to answer all the fem cells problems. Hopefully. Anyway, let's find out what this guy has to say. Ladies, I will be joining the fem cell dating app. I've heard there's lots of boy smell enjoyers there and that you will all appreciate me. But why is he joining? I thought he had loads of women lined up in his Instagram DMs. Now I'm confused. The whole world is a lie. Mm. Ah! Um, I've heard there's girl smell plentiful there too. Prepare to see me, ladies. I will see you guys, girls, very soon. Peace. Oh yeah, that's another thing he does as well. Every time he ends off a TikTok, he gives everyone a... Nothing like a kiss from the man who refuses to shower. Oh, do I feel special? They'll definitely appreciate you, man. There's not many people in the world who can speak the tongue of the stench, let me tell you that. And the boy smell, yeah, I guess that will uh, definitely get you in with the ladies. But it's not so much a boy smell, it's more of a under the drain pipe kind of smell, like a homeless man's ass. Something like that. But hey, if you do end up getting a date and the restaurant is full, all you gotta do is sneeze and the whole restaurant will probably clear out after that. I just wish there was a way for me to feel clean watching this. Like, I feel dirty watching it. Guys, comment down below. How do you feel right now? Like, in your immune system? Do you feel like it's slowly shutting down? <laughs> I do. And then his mom apparently came on TikTok and uh, it was titled, Do any other mothers know what to do? Help. Motherhood. Son won't shower. Help needed. <laughs> <laughs> it's just no way. I think it's day 10, trying to get him to shower. I just, I don't know what to do anymore. I mean, fucking look at this. <laughs> Dude just looked like he came straight out of the sewers. Well, what do you do in this situation? Just get a power washer. Power wash the man down, yeah? Although there's probably a shield over him of just pheromones. It just bounced straight off. You could always resort to bucket bath in him. That seemed to work last time. Someone commented, he doesn't stink, he's pheromone maxing. Is it a difference though, really? I'm sure pheromone maxing just means not showering. Imagine the cheese buildup. Yeah, I can imagine the cheese buildup. Genuine question, I'm new here. Is this serious or satire? We haven't quite determined it yet, to be honest. It sounds like they're trying to write up a conclusion for how the universe started. Gotta go out into the world and try and find some fossils from 2,000 years ago. See if anybody else was pheromone maxing. Okay. Am I an Omega male, ladies? Peace. Oh, the pheromones. Oh. Is that what he thinks all the ladies are doing right now? <laughs> Watching this TikTok just absolutely oozing. I don't think so, bud. I'm sorry, was that his mum at the beginning there that said go? That's made me really sad now. I thought his mum was trying to help him and help him become a normal functioning member of society, but she seems to be in on it. Omega male in the room, ladies. How, how does that make you uh, ladies feel at home watching this video? I mean, most of our audience is female, so how does that make you feel? Now, in this next TikTok, he seems pretty upset that he only got soap for his birthday. But in a way, I feel like everybody gets soap for their birthday. Like, I've got like a 10 box f***ing link set in the cupboard. Soap again for my birthday. They said if I showered, that I would get Legos for my birthday, and I did shower the week before my, my B-Day. No Legos in any of my bags. He wanted Legos for his birthday, but he got soap instead. Go on, pal. Go and show your mum what you're made of. I would be very intimidated to meet this man. <laughs> I feel like he would genuinely pose a threat. Like, I'd be worried in case I insulted him and he just rubbed his armpit on me. <laughs> That's my worst nightmare. <laughs> However, ladies and gentlemen, his friend Tammy, who, you know, dumped the bucket of water on him, apparently got him a gift for his birthday, and it's a t-shirt that says something on it. it says, I'm not stinky, I'm pheromone accent. And... You know, it doesn't forgive what she did to me, bucket bathing me, but I will wear it at school 
like she suggested, um, so that the kids in the hallways know what they are smelling. Did you say so the kids in the hallway know what they're smelling? I think they'll know it's you, bro. Don't worry, I, th I think I think they'll get the idea. Oh, in the next bit, he talks about being 18 years old and how the ladies can now, you know, engage with him. Oh, I'm really excited to see this. Officially now, 18. You can please message me. I think some of you were... Wait, there's some of these DMs. We can read them. We can read the DMs. Okay, let's take a look at these DMs. I'm so excited now. I, I'm interested and we are the same age. I want you so bad. I love boy smell. And in big blue text, he put, yes, bullies, real women want me. I don't know. Like, this just doesn't seem real. I'm sorry. This seems like a massive troll. Like, this is trolling. Like, he's not serious. He can't be. It's satire. It is satire. It has to be. Like, I feel like, I feel like this guy's a genius. Like, he knows what he's doing. He does know. He knows that, like, him doing this kind of thing is getting him lots of views. He knows that. I think some of you were reluctant because I didn't get as many DMs as I should have. <laughs> the way he's like, I didn't get as many DMs as I should have. That is so ass backwards. <laughs> God, what's happening right now? I haven't showered in three weeks. My my white t-shirt has yellow stains all over them. My boxes are like plasterboards. Where are all the women? <laughs> I think he's got the wrong idea on how to attract the ladies, but hey, he's probably got more DMs than I have. So I guess I'm the loser really, aren't I? And then the next TikTok is mom breaks into his room to try and do his laundry and the things he said is absurd. <laughs> he says apparently there's no women allowed in his room. Only Discord kittens. I don't know what a Discord kitten is. Let's take it to Google again. A playful term for a sugar baby in a digital sugar daddy arrangement. God, you definitely look at him and think, ha oh, ha, come on, daddy. Hey, bud. Hey. No women in my room, mom. Okay, I know. I just wanted to ask Unless you. Unless they're Discord kittens. <sighs> Jesus Christ, Isaac. I just need your fucking laundry. Where is it? Mom, you don't need my laundry. Isaac, it stinks in here, man. We just need to do a load of laundry. Then just don't now. enter my bedroom. Can you just goddamn Mom, I'll open second? the window. Okay, I'm coming in here. That's it. I am taking care of this. Where is it? Mom! Where is it? This is too Mom. much. <laughs> Mom! Mom, you're coming in here to do my laundry? But I like the smell of ass. Mom, please don't touch my stuff. Those are my fertilized socks you're touching. But his mom coming in and disturbing his junk, I mean, it's not even a room, is it? It's just a lair. It should be called a lair. Yo, the stench lair. Mom, you're coming into my stench lair again? And this is next. His mom opened his hamper. Again, mom. It's not his mum. Can't be. It's definitely his sister or his girlfriend. Thousand percent. <coughs> I can't, I can't, uh, watch somebody else do that. So I think it's safe to say we'll just, uh, skip past that one. But I think we get the idea, his hamper smells like shit. My advice for you is the next time you go to do his laundry, just give it a quick little speed run, you know? Oh, someone commented, Dr don't drink the milk in his hamper. Oh, what? Oh, what does that mean? Oh, no, I don't want to know. I feel sick. Oh, the world is dark. Oh. What the hell is this next TikTok? Biting at women. Nuff said bullies, and yes, Omega males do tend to do this. Do what? Bite women? The fuck? Biting at women is not misogynistic. Hey, listen, ladies. Right, first of all, where is this guy filming this? He looks like he's hiding behind the blinds doing this. Actually, those look like the slats underneath his bed. I think this guy's literally under his bed filming this. <laughs> Why? <laughs> What's the point? And also, biting is not misogynistic. What is the premise of this argument exactly? What what point are you trying to prove here? I, you, you lost me. I, I don't understand what's going on. I often see very pretty young ladies at school. Like soon-to-be Discord kittens or women that I might simp for online, but in real life. I might see them, and I might go like a... to them. Because it shows off my pearly whites, and the results of my mewing. Hope you all learn and stop being bullies. Oh no, not mewing, not mewing. Surely they don't think that's a real thing. Oh, and he said the schoolgirls are soon to be Discord kittens and that he might simp over them. And apparently his strategy to lure women into his lair is by going, 
I mean, that's pretty sexy if you ask me. What's up, ladies? Wanna learn the way of the stench? I think this guy's trolling, guys. He's trolling. He is trolling, all right? Guys, comment down below. Do you think he's trolling? It's satire. It is. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, check out my other videos. I'm sure you're going to enjoy these. They're pretty good in my opinion. And uh, yeah, just subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.